I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll discuss different methods of calculating slope of a line. Slope of a line normally we use the letters m lowercase m to designate slope. So slope of a line is written as rise over run. That is general description for finding slope of a line. At times, if you are given two different points, if you are given two different points, let us say we have point A whose values are x1, y1, let's say x1, y1, and point B whose values are x2, y2. In that case, we can write slope of the line M as equals to rise will be difference in y values so we say y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so that also gives you slope of a line and in some applications we may have rate so in those applications rate itself will be slope of the line right so so these are different ways in which we can find slope of a line. So let us take an example. So what we will do here is we'll just uh, sketch a graph here kind of and find slope for different uh, conditions. So let us say this is the origin that is the x-axis this is y-axis for us and we'll just make a you know small scale here uh, three points on each side right okay and uh, let me first consider a line which is going through the origin so if i have a line which goes through the origin that is this point and let us say we know one coordinate value which is let us say here which is x value of one y value of two so we're considering a line which is going through this point right so this is the line okay now what is the slope of this line now from rise over run, what we can do in this case, we can drop a perpendicular. So as you drop a perpendicular, you notice that the rise is the y value too, right? So that is the rise and the run is x value of 1. So our line 1, let us say here, has a slope, let's call m1 equals to rise over run. So in this case, rise is 2 units, you go up by 2 and run is 1. So you say uh, 2 over 1 or just 2. Right. So, so that is how you can very easily find the slope of a line. Now let me consider another line. Now in this case what I will do is I'll consider a line which is kind of negative slope. So, so we'll join these two points. We'll join these two points and draw a line so let's use different ink okay so i'm using a highlighter here and let's say that is the line okay so this is the line which we have drawn so we are calling this as line two now since we are given two points in this case they happen to be x intercept and y intercept but anyway we have two points so in this case let's say point a for us is the y-intercept which is 0 2 and point B is the x-intercept which is 3 0 then what is the slope so for line 2 slope let's say m2 designating slope of the second line is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so y2 is 0 0 minus 2 divided by 3 minus 0. Remember the order should not be changed, right? So in this condition we get minus 2 over 3. Now you can see the line is dropping down. So it is falling line, negative slope does reflect the correct answer. I hope that's absolutely clear, right? At times you may be given a question and that question could be, so we have already taken two scenarios, correct? So now let me take one more question here. We say a line pass through 
points P and Q. Let's say point P is minus 2 and 5 and point Q is 3 and 4. Then what is the slope? Well, again, we can apply the same formula and we say, let's say this is line 3 for us. Y2 minus Y1, that is 4 minus 5 divided by 3 minus minus 2. So that makes it plus 2, right? So we get a slope of minus 1 over 5. So there may be a word problem like this. So you can find the slope by finding ratio of change in y over change in x value. Is that okay? So that is how you can find slope in most of the situations. Now let me take up equation of line itself. So I'm taking the fourth example for you. Let us say we are given the equation of the line as y equals to 2x minus 3 and we need to find what is the slope m in this particular case. Well normally if a line is given in this form then the slope is the coefficient of x and we can straight away write down slope as 2. Since this form of a line equation is called slope intercept form. Slope and y intercept to be very very specific intercept form. So in this case general equation is y equals to mx plus b. So m the coefficient of x is the slope which you can directly read. Right? So that is how it is. But at times what you can do here is you can calculate two points. So let's calculate two points from this given line. Let's say make a table of values in that case, correct? So we'll make a table of values, find two points on this line. So we have y equals to 2x minus 3 and we'll take some x values. Good value to take is of course 0 and then 1 for x. If I write 0 here, the y value will be minus 3. That is a y intercept. If I write 1 here, then it is 2 times 1, that is 2. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So we get two points, correct? The first point here is 0 minus 3. The second one here is 1 minus 1. And now we can calculate slope, which is m equals to y2 minus y1, that is minus 3 minus minus 1 is plus 1, divided by x2 minus x1, which is 0 minus 1, and we get minus 3 plus 1 as minus 2 divided by minus 1 or 2 which is exactly same as we found earlier so at times we can directly read from the equation as we have here now when do you get into rate so these are the word problems right so let me draw another line and give you a couple of examples really I don't want to really give you many examples here but let us say if we know that uh, the cost of pizza let's say we have cost of pizza is let's say dollar eight plus additional toppings at the rate of dollar one per each type right so if you put capsicum you put one dollar extra right so macaronis one dollar extra mushrooms one dollar extra kind of like that in that case the cost of pizza could be written as eight is the fixed cost right plus the rate of one dollar for each topping let's say let's say one t so one which normally we should not write gives you the slope of the graph of this particular cost function of pizza. Do you see that one? So that rate gives you the slope. So if you sketch this kind of a thing, you'll get a straight line, which will have a slope of one, right? And the y-intercept of eight. So it's kind of like this. So in the standard equation, y equals to mx plus p, the slope, here represents the rate also. So you could consider in equation y equals to mx plus b, m to be the rate, m to be the rate, right? 
So in word problems, you can always place rate here. And the fixed cost, so this cost B will be the fixed cost. Right? For example, if your earnings are taken as a fixed cost and commission, then the commission rate becomes M. So those are the kind of examples which we'll take up in next video. And then I think you'll get better idea of the importance of slope in word problems. But I hope this video overall gives you a good idea of different ways of calculating slope of a line. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.